And it's time once again for Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Friday. I am not alone. There is somebody here. Somebody will be here very shortly. And it will be Tanya. But she is still getting ready. I can hear her. No, that's the shadow of the cats. Are you coming? Yeah, give me a moment. Okay, she needs one moment. But welcome to Friday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew where we play new homebrew games on classic consoles and also other consoles because we will be taking a look again at a console that we looked at not too long ago oh you've got a cat with you I'm gonna that him matches him. your coat he's just gonna say hi he's it's a furry cat and a fluffy coat too that's right oh here's oh, another one and an atari oh nice eyes yeah. hi yeah and this is pixel Yes. And Atari is passing through the webcam there. He's a gray cat. I can't see too much. And if you look in the webcam, there's also a box that Ooh. says Retron 77. <laughs> it's making a surprise reappearance. <laughs> and we will get to that shortly, why it's back again. Because I thought I would never see it ever again coming on the show. Or, or <laughs> no, <laughs> because I didn't think it would ever be relevant oh. because of the... Not so good review that uh, I gave it last time. Mm. Um, I want to, so we're going to be playing the Retron. We're going to be playing Bellhopper, uh, Naughty List, and Stay Frosty. Ooh. And it's very cold. Ooh. Yes, it is. I'm going to close yep. the door. It is. Winter has come. Yeah, it's definitely to cold Vancouver. In here. Um, so it's like a, it's been like zero most days, going down to yeah, minus hence two. Yeah, the fluffy sweater, because yeah. it's definitely a little chilly. I mean, it's not cold compared to the rest of Canada or the U.S. for most of no, the just, winter, but it is does get cool. cool. It gets cool yeah. here. Not barely enough to snow sometimes. Mm -hmm. Oh, cats are in again. I want to uh, thank our Twitch subscribers, A Tasty Sandwich, Charles and Check, Gretams, Ground Trooper, I is supposed to, Jeffrey with 2123, Mr. Fix, Retro Rap, Happy Hour, and a resubscription from Thrust26, who mm -hmm. we missed last week because it didn't tell me that he resubscribed. Mm. Uh, so I apologize for that, Thomas. And Tiki Dan K as well. So nice. thank you very much, everybody, for subscribing. And thanks to everybody that is watching right now, including Mr. Fix. Nobody else is chatting, but they're watching. There's other people on the list, I know. Excellent. And uh, if you want to support the show and get your name read out, you can subscribe for free. If you have Amazon Prime, mm -hmm. and just link it to Twitch Prime and click subscribe. And we have a package here. I don't know if it's relevant Good. to the show or not, oh. or if it's even a Christmas gift for you, or if it's for me. No, oh, it's you not your name's it. on it? Yeah, my okay. name's on it. So you're going to check first. Yeah, I'm going to open it up, Yeah. and it may lead to nothing. Okay. And it may lead to a big Let mystery. Me, but you're sure? You're, yes, you're my sure? Name. Uh, your name's there, on it. My name. Okay. Yep. Just checking. I'd let you open it. We get a lot of packages. So. Especially around this time. <laughs> it's a... Uh... And we don't want to open the wrong package. Yes. And reveal something. Possible gifts. So. The cat has to go out. He just wanders around He's gonna the equipment. He's going to drink water. Nope. <laughs> Come cat on. Water. Oh my goodness. He can't be in or out. Out. What is this? What is relevant? Is it? Okay. Excellent. So, what we've got here, I don't... Oh, they're so late. Oh, I was ordering this. These will have to be for next year, I guess. For, for a retro video game? Retro video game night, which was like weeks ago. Well, that was why we were we were low on prizes. We were trying to figure out yeah, where what's all going the prizes on. went. So. so these came on the slow boat from China. Like, literally, that's what happens. <laughs> it takes months and months. Yeah. And they're little um, pins mm. that say, hide your face. Hide your face. There we go. There you go. It says arcade on them. And mm. it's like really cool little arcade pin. You want to take a look oh, at that? Oh, those are so super cute. Because we give away, we have a little uh, um, retro gaming night here every year at the house. We invite a whole bunch of friends over and I get a bunch of prizes for them. And this was supposed to be the prize, one of the, one of the one little of the prizes. prizes that are they people both the could, same? Yeah, they're all the same. Oh, they're so cute. That people can choose if they uh, get some top scores. And. Wow. Um, the theme this year was arcade because it's the 40th anniversary of Space Invaders this year. Mm -hmm. So it was all arcade themed, arcade games, but still relevant for next year. 
So yeah. I'll keep them till next year. Very year's cute. Event which might be in television because it's the 40th year of in television. It came out in 1979. Okay. So I might make it uh, an in television year. Cool. So I have to get my RGB mod on my in television. Okay. <laughs> I do have a multi card already okay. for it, and I have multiple in televisions. So that's not relevant Excellent. to you out there. Well. It's relevant to them because they like retro games. So. That's very, very true. Um, so we've been following along, along with uh, Champ Games updates on the newest game mm. that he is making. I don't know if you know which game it was. It's uh, not Mappy. It's, uh, no, that's that's uh, the that's been released. W Wizards of War. Wiz Wizard of War is his next release. He's okay. pretty much done that. Yeah, one. that that one's really. Very, very fun That's two-player game. game. Yep. And his next one's Zookeeper. Okay. And you're trying to keep all the zoo animals and get them inside their cages and inside a brick wall. And you're building a brick wall. It's okay. very, very strange, just like most games in the 80s were like that. But he just posted another update today mm -hmm. um, on his Facebook page. So we're going to take a look at that very briefly because it's... Um, not a minor update, it's actually a fairly major update. So let's take a look in one second. Because last update was, he. we looked at it last show on Wednesday. He had it, the brick wall working, mm -hmm. and the little man running around building the brick wall. And this one is an animal test, so he's added in the, a bunch of animals, which are very cute. Mm -hmm. So let's switch over to that screen. And there you can see, I've got it paused on the first frame there. You've got to see the little guy. Oh, you can't see my mouse. There's a little guy at the top, a little snake in the top right. Looks like a rhinoceros in the, in the right. <laughs> Something like that. Some sort of jumping deer, moose. 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 I don't know if that is in the middle yeah, bottom. Yeah, something a rhinoceros. The moose, and I that's see. That's got some anthers, maybe a deer. And that's a moose on the left. That's definitely a moose. Let's see how they uh, run around. Yeah. Oh, it's a, a camel in the top middle and there's an elephant which is the gray one and i don't know a lion that one there i don't know interesting so you have to avoid them uh you do have to avoid them right now there's no collision oh i see um and you have to um mm. trap them inside i've never actually played this game <laughs> and you get bonus Beer I was gonna say uh, I see beer at the top. I'm not sure yeah, what that, some, how that relates to the animals, but uh, you do have to avoid the animals by jumping over them, and he's got jumping working there. Oh yes, which is great. Very cool. And this is this was captured at 30 frames a second, mm. which is why it's all kind of glitchy and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I guess he doesn't have it set up to capture at 60, but I've seen a picture of it at 60, and all the bricks are solid, solid colors. It looks really really good. And um, that line, that black line separation yep. between the bricks is actually a, a glitch that he's taking advantage of. Oh, I can't the remember the exact, yeah, that provides the, the, the line when they're horizontal bricks, gotcha. not the vertical ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, but it's very hard to make thin lines. vertical lines on the 2600. So what he's doing is he's alternating the stripes. This, yes. The stripey pattern, the and that gives it the look of, of bricks. Think, yeah, it yeah. does. Yeah. Um, but in in the final version, it's going to be very solid bricks. Mm. Yeah. So there's a lot of animals on the screen at the same time. You can see there's like five at once mm -hmm. on the bottom, and five at. They're definitely a little fr five. flickery when they're all at the same line, but. Yeah. Uh, and this is only recorded at 30 frames a second, so it'll be even better than okay. that. So cool. it's very, very impressive nice. stuff, and and he's working so quickly on that. Mm -hmm. It is really, really impressive how fast uh, John Shampoo works on stuff. So that is, they start inside, you have to try and keep them there. Okay, uh, so those have escaped. So. Gotcha. Because the outside is probably the harder part gotcha. of the program. Yeah. Because so you're bricking them in, you're trying to keep them from keep escaping. Them in. And once they've escaped, then you have to jump over them. You have to avoid them. And I think there's power-ups that'll push them inside. I think mm -hmm. the beer thing. And uh, like yeah, that. you build up the bricks, so it looks. Uh, Get them drunk. Like lots They'll of run fun. back in their cage. That's right. Yeah. Um, so that's the big updated news. It's pretty slow for development right now in December. 
because everybody's busy doing things, but John Champo powers through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I never th thought that this would come up. Again. This would come up again. Yes. Because I'd given up because the I remember a review of it. Yep. Because the company has not talked about it since its release. They yeah. haven't provided updates. They haven't done any software updates to it. Yeah. So it's pretty much radio silence. Yeah, yeah, for a while. From uh, Hyperkin, which is unfortunate. Um, but I guess they figured, we did what we did. We put it out. We're done with it. That's fine. Or for the time being, done with it. Yeah. Maybe for yeah. the time being. You yeah. can always Moving hope. on to bigger and better better projects or dealing with other, other things. Yeah, because right? once yeah. a company releases a product, usually it's like a big surge. It dies off. off. They're not going to sell anymore. Yeah. Um, I actually was going to have this on the last show. Yeah. But I couldn't find it. <laughs> I was yeah, I remember you saying that. Tearing apart like, the house. Where is it? Where did it go? Looking for the Retron 77. Yeah. And I, I, I found it for this show. Yeah. So this update actually came out two days before the last show, I think. So earlier in the yeah, week. Yeah, earlier in the week. And that's why I wanted to do the update, but I didn't cool. want to say anything if I couldn't find it. So I couldn't find it. But I found it now. And we're going to take a look at it again because... The community has been hard at work, um, working on making this product better. Okay. Because it does have a lot of advantages. Mm -hmm. It's got an HDMI out. Which is a huge advantage, yes. Huge advantage. Huge. Um, so you can hook it up to modern TVs. Yeah. It's got an SD card built in, SD card reader built in, so that you don't have, a buy, have to buy a separate piece of hardware. Yeah. Um, like the Uno cart. Or like these these are the two big ones right now. The Harmony. Uno cart and the yeah. Harmony cart. Um, so you don't have to buy this. And this is like forty US and this is like seventy US. Okay. So you get not, rid of not that expense. Inexpensive. Not yeah. inexpensive. Yeah. Not this inexpensive. one's a little bit cheaper. Yeah. Um so and I think this was about a hundred, mm. the Retron seventy hundred Canadian. So a little bit cheaper in the US. Seventy American. I think it is seventy, sixty nine ninety nine. So, it's about equivalent to buying an Uno cart, mm. which doesn't play all of the all the games. It doesn't have all the functionality. Mm. Um, so you save a little bit of money, and it has HDMI out, so it is a good. It's kind of like a plug and play system, it is. right? It doesn't involve a lot of messing around. With things. Yeah. Which which some of us enjoy. <laughs> yeah, just plug it in. Some people let it go. like to mod all of their old systems, yeah. and some people just want something they can play every something once simple. in a while. Yeah, something simple. So my my concerns with that system when we were playing it is it didn't play pretty much any new homebrew. Yeah, that and I mean that you were like, oh, what's and, this? And so, for me, I'm done. <laughs> it's like, why would I use this? Because I concentrate on homebrew yeah. all the time. It would be decent for somebody who plays just the old games. Yeah. It doesn't play 100% of the old games, but most of them. Yeah. I think it was like 98 or something. Which it is, did, is didn't it, play Pitfall it, 2. Yeah. And didn't play some other some other uh, other games. But very, very few it didn't. Uh, I suppose it is. I was surprised it was updated Stella 3.9 work added to old code. So, yes, that was what happened. Uh, Stephen A., um, has been working on updating this okay. as much as possible. Who's Stephen Hay? Um, he is a coder that uh, does a lot of work. He, he does he work for Hyperkin or no, is no, no, he, no, no, he's no, no, doing no. it on the side? He's doing it on the side. Okay. He, he's just a community member. Gotcha. I'm, I believe he does a lot of work on Stella, okay. which is what is running on the Retron Seventy Seven. Okay. Um, it is running the same thing that most people run for emulations yes. on the computer. Okay. And what they did is they installed a really, really old version of Stella. Like, really old. I can't remember how old it is, but it's really, really old. Um, oh, greetings, I suppose to Yes. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, to the, welcome to the show. And the problem with it being so old, it doesn't have any of the capabilities to run new homebrew. And so, or a lot of other things. It doesn't have a lot of fixes. It was on uh, version 3.9 something. Okay. And Stella is on version 5. Wow. Okay. Almost going to 6. Like, wow. we're, we're very close to going so to version it's, 6. It's almost like three it's whole totally major, major 
versions behind. Yeah, it's it was a yeah. problem. Yeah. So, um, and the other major problem I had is it had screen tearing. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a big one. Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't be a problem with too many games because a lot of old games were single screen games, very static. But anything that moves vertically or horizontal, anything that moves really, but mostly horizontal movement, mm -hmm. um, you could really see screen tearing. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens when the video is not in sync with the program. So if the program draws a screen and then halfway through, the video updates yeah and the program continues to draw the screen and something is moved it's edited it's 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 shifted yeah so pretend i'm drawing a straight line yeah and that's what it's supposed to be but halfway through the program uh the video card um draws it draws the screen and then the program updates the movement and now it looks like this a straight line it's broken mm -hmm. by a little bit and so that's what you get once in a while is this you get straight line straight line straight line broken line yeah. straight line straight line yeah or it's like this right yeah and it looks terrible yeah terrible um so we're going to take another look at what the updates are mm -hmm. to the retron 77. Mm -hmm. so let's switch over to that right now so you can't see everything on the screen right now and i'm not going to adjust it because it'll screw up the, the look of everything else <laughs> but it is wider than this but not completely wide enough actually because yeah. you can see it here it's kind yeah, of yeah it's not completely wide enough that's kind of funny. it's kind of just a little bit better than what you guys are seeing out there it's a little bit wider but it still cuts off stuff um but what what it used to have is its own pr proprietary menu on top of stella okay but um, Stephen A has updated it so it is just Stella. It boots oh, right in into to the emulator. Gotcha. Okay. And so people who run this on their system is on Stella on the computer is very familiar with this, right? Yeah. It's just a menu system, and you start the game. Gotcha. And they've stripped it back, and there's a lot of stuff that's not on here. You can't go into the options. You can't change a lot of the options. Mm. It's pretty much just start the game. Yeah. Um, and it's still is running as you can see on the top 3.94 well, that's yeah. funny 3.94 you can see more there you can see there. more vertically there oh you know what i think i have my overscan something anyway yeah yeah <laughs> because it's getting a different input than normal because yeah. normally it's coming from the 2600 the yes. actual vcs yes, that's and this true. is a 720 feed anyway yeah um, so this, and they've added a lot of homebrew built into the bin, the, uh, sorry, the, um, the image file. Gotcha. So anybody who wants to run this out there and update the Retron 77, um, just go to the Atari Age forums, and it is called, let me make sure, I'm not going to give you bad information, I'm going to mm -hmm. tell you which subforum to go to, because it doesn't spell it out in the link. Yeah, it's under the Atari 2600 uh, subforum. And it's called Retron 77 Community Build Image. Mm -hmm. And it is the first link on the page. Uh, first oh. first thing, and you just click download. They bumped the old 393 was the last of the three. Oh, smart. So 393 was the last official. Okay. So what uh, Stephen A has done is taken code from the new versions, uh, version four and, and five. And created a new version of Stella. A new version of three, like fork, yeah. forked it off. Yeah. So now he's updated an old version with new things. Yeah. Now what he um, has added to it, he's added full CDF support, which Mappy, Scramble, and Super Cobra mm. um, use. Um, full CTY support, which I... I'm not completely familiar with. Um, Chettery uses it. Okay. And you actually can't even <laughs> you can't even run Chettery on this. Okay. So it's a com this is the complex. only system that completely runs that program. Really? Now because it has very different type of music that it, do, oh, it works okay. on that uh, game. So it's a, that's a, it's a game. Yes. And it's, it's a game we haven't played. It's Tetris. Oh, um, I see. Okay. We, yeah. Have we played it? We might have. Okay. I think we did. Okay. Yeah. But not with full sound. 
Okay. So he says mainline Stellar users have to wait for version 6 for this. Mm. So Retron 77 users are actually getting it a little bit early. Mm. So he has fixed that in it. Uh, updated DPC and DPC Plus schemes. So Draconian now works in this. Nice. Okay. Good. Um, added latest ROM pro properties database fixing Street Racer, Video Olympics for player paddle issues. So he's fixed some of the old games as well. Okay. Uh, fixed compilation under Hyperkin build environment, updates DPC scheme, Stephen A. Added latest ROM properties. So he's added a whole bunch of ROMs, mm. default ROMs. Mm -hmm. Got Amoeba Jump in here now. Uh, okay. Asteroid Rescue, I think, was on there. Astronomer was on there. Baby mm -hmm. was on there. He's added Boulder Dash Demo 2, mm -hmm. which I've never seen before. Okay. There was a different demo available on the internet. That you played. But that I played, but not Demo 2. Nice. That's very interesting. Uh, Defender 3 was on there. Uh, I think Flappy was on one of them. Okay. Uh, Jammed, I don't think, was on there. Mm. Jaywalker was, don't think, was on there. I can't see what this is completely. <laughs> Something Proto. Proto Charging. KC. KC. Oh, I've never played this game. Uh, that was on there. Nexion 3D was on there. Uh, Pepper Penguin was not on there. Rampong was not on there. Mm. We've played that before. Robot City was not on there. Looks like Thomas J uh, allowed a whole bunch of his games yeah. to, to be included, yeah. which is great. And Robot City Excellent. is amazing. Yeah. Yes, we have played Cheddary. That's, oh, yeah, I was I remembering. Remember, I, I was trying to pronounce it, and I'd written it out. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, yes. Pronouncing, I'm yeah. pronouncing it like Cheddar yeah. now, but... I didn't realize not, it was a Tetris clone. Like it was a, a Tetris, Tetris clone. version, or, yeah. Robot yeah, City's yeah, yeah. awesome. It's a great game. Shifty Lifty, I think, was on there. Star Castle Arcade was yeah. definitely not on there. Yeah. Another Thomas Yentz. Uh, mm -hmm. This was not on there. Space Invaders, Supercharger... Uh, Atari Flashback portable version. <laughs> uh, Swoops was not on there. Now there's Thomas Yance. 3.S. I know how to pronounce it now. 3.S? Yep. Yeah. Three dots. Not dot S. Three dots. Three dots? Yep. Thrust. Another sense. Thomas Yance. <laughs> and Warp Drive. Portal Retro Gaming Expo Edition. I can't remember if that was on there. So you get a bunch of built in games mm. on the image. Nice. Amoeba so, Jump! So there we go. There's Amoeba Jump working on it. And let's bring in the sound. There we go. So lots of fun. This is not the uh, cartridge version of Amoeba, Amoeba Jump. I think this is the demo. The latest demo version. Latest obviously. demo? Now the cartridge? No. The, has the cartridge been released? No. And I didn't think I, so. Um, I think I'm, I'm the only one who has the cartridge version besides the Oh, developer. I see. So yeah, we've, yeah, yeah. That's the one with the pink, pink dude? The pink one? Yes, yes, yes. So you yes, can play yes, uh, yes. alternating. Pink or blue? Pink or blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's lots of fun. That's a great game. Yeah. So that one works. Oh, wrong button. That's widescreen. And, you know, all the rest work, obviously. They're built in. But let's get to the new stuff. Nice. So I've loaded on a bunch of new programs and challenging programs. Um, so let's take a look at Mappy, because when I posted about Zookeeper, yes. somebody was saying, will this work on Retron, Retron 77? 77. Okay. I'm like, I don't know. There's no yeah. ROM been released. Yes. Yeah. For Retron 77, mm -hmm. or for, for Zookeeper yet. It's still very work in progress. Um, but I'm very sure it will, um, because Wizard of War Arcade works just fine. And this is Champ Games' new, newest game. And Mappy works on it too, and he's saying, he was saying on his Retron 77, it didn't work. But uh, then I asked him if he updated has updated or? it to the yeah. newest one, because this was released yet less than a, a week ago. Yeah. And, and then he didn't reply, so I gave him the link. And yeah. I'm, guess, I'm guessing he's loading <laughs> he's on right it. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'll be able to see that Mappy is working. Yeah. I just close this says, uh, Stay Frosty 2 is playable, but not as nice as the real one. <laughs> not as nice. Isn't it the exact right one? So yeah, there you go. Mappy is working, and this is a very complex game. 
It looks beautiful. Oh, Every time I see people does. see Mappy, I haven't played it enough to kind of figure it out yet. Like it's the, the dynamics of, of avoiding the um, the things chasing you. Very challenging. But, um, uh, I do need to play it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, uh, but it's we'll a nice looking a game. It's okay. a really nice looking game. I haven't played it on this show. I know you played it with uh, Erlen, but I haven't really played, played it. Played it on the show? Oh, okay. I haven't played it on the show. So, so then you go, Stay Frosty 2. Stay Frosty 2. No, no, it looks good to me. <laughs> Oh, there's some drop sound drop outs. Yeah. There's there? still some things that he is working on on this, obviously. Bonus? Because I'm not melting. Oh, there's no bonus. Maybe that's just on Stay Frosty. Okay, so Stay Frosty works. Mm -hmm. Another uh, very challenge. Look at all these ones. <laughs> mm. I have a whole bunch of builds of all these games. I really like Draconian, too. Yeah. So here's Draconian. Stella 6 has improved TIA sound. There we go. Works perfectly. You know, the chat seems quiet today. I think there are a lot of people out at work Christmas parties. <laughs> it's that time of year. It is. And it is it's that tough. kind of day. It's a Friday. Sometimes we have on Friday or Saturday, right? It is quiet. Enjoyed my Christmas music. Oh, on uh, State Frosty 2, did you do that? Nice! Did you do Very nice, good Very job. Nice. Oh, he's the master of music. Uh, he's supposed to. So there is Draconian. I'll try not to play any of these games too much. It's just too. <laughs> I know, I'll tempting. just be here petting the cat. Hi, cat, how are you doing now? Uh, here's, <laughs> here's Super Cobra Final. Very challenging. It's such Almost a fun made game it to though. the end. It is. Yeah, it's got really good gameplay and oh yes. Just the the combo shooting and dropping bombs and very very fun. Actually, this one is doesn't use any uh, DPC chips. This is like this is made in basic, I believe. But anyway, it works fine. Thank you, Pan thank you, the panda, which yep. I have completed. Yes. Hundred percent. Yes. Uh, what else? Scramble's the same engine as Super Cobra. Um, Cheddary? Yeah, let's do Balloon Trip and then Cheddary. All right. So Balloon Trip, I don't think is a, like a very stressful game on the Atari. No. In terms of using advanced things, I think it's done in basic, actually. There, I died twice. <laughs> well, normal, hard, impossible. I think I did normal. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think that was enough for me. Yeah. Star Castle is pushing the hardware. Probably. Yeah, it would be. Um, so let's do Wall Jump Ninja just mm. to show. I don't think that is anything too crazy. Another good game. Yep. They have included some exceptional. Or those? These are the games. No, you these put are on. I put on. Yeah. yeah. Just to show that it does work. It with just you. shows what your top games are. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It does. You, none of the games you put on were games you don't like to play. So. Oh, I love all these games. Yeah. This game I could just play for hours. Yeah. It's just one of those games. It's yeah. hard to put down. I have the world record in it. So. <laughs> and so Cheddary, the last one. <laughs> uh, final. So what level do I have to beat to beat your world record? 67. I think. Okay. I think. I'll have to look it up. So this is the version with everything. The NTSC, I believe. So it should have music at all stages. A little bit of funkiness going on there. Is this the right one? No, it would have better music. I think I... Yeah, it should have proper music. Mm. It may not be the right one. Maybe it's no EPRON? No? No music. No. Uh, maybe it's the, the old one? No, it's too old. Maybe it's not working. Demo? No. Nope. No, there's music. No, that's uh, old music. That's, that's something that's, else. That's music. <laughs> maybe I 
don't have it. Try it before you buy. Maybe something's going on. Somebody said it did work. This one of these. Hmm. Or maybe it's in that zip file. Oh, and you didn't yeah. unpack it? But I swear it was this version with mm. that spinning. Key. It's supposed to be playing here. Yeah. yeah. Try pal. Yeah. Might as well try pal. Mm. Oh, tinier. <laughs> <laughs> nope. That's really weird that it's so different looking. So much tinier. No. Good. Uh, good suggestion. I supposed to, but not working. Not working. I'm gonna blame it on me because you people, think you're missing the. the somebody files. said that it does work. Okay. Um. So here, you. Can, what game do you want to play? Want to play Amoeba Jump? Will I make sure I covered everything about this. All right. So Steve and I posted December 1st, I can say with definite certainty that ARM-based games, CDF, DPC+, Plus, such as Draconian, Scramble, Super Cobra Arcade, Mappy, etc., will never work from cartridge on this device. So these are played on ROM. All these games I've been showing you, they're not, um, they're, they're not from actual cartridges. Uh, they're all from ROM. And uh, Stephen A. saying that the cartridge reader on here does will never play those advanced games. Um, just because of the way the dumper works and the fact that the cart reader can't even see all the ROM behind the port. It's hard enough to get a reliable card reader when that all, that, all that's there is 75, 70, 6507 code. It's impossible for ARM-based ROMs that have a completely alien mapping behind the scenes. So these games will be ROM SD card only. Thanks for the words of support and any donations that anyone may give. Shameless plug. I'm planning to build a new HEDT development system in 2019. Don't know what HEDT stands for. Uh, head end something. So I'd appreciate any donations that I receive. And so um, if you donate uh, for Stella, it uh, goes to uh, help out these kinds of things that help the whole community get awesome presents all the time. Um, I suppose it says try a fresh turning on. Well, there's that brings up another issue with the Retron 77 that I encountered that wasn't there before. And somebody else in the forums also was talking about this. Mm -hmm. Is that there's an audio issue sending it over HDMI at least to either the Framemeister or the Elgato 60, uh, HD60. Because somebody else was saying, oh, my Elgato HD60, it's not working. I can't get the audio to work. And another person said that as well, but they got it working. And I've been having trouble with my Elgato as well, capturing sound or transferring sound to my television or my computer for streaming. And I had to set this up beforehand so that it did work. Um, I've had to reset the Elgato HD60 and also set something in my frame meister off and back on again mm. and the combination of those two things just i've narrowed it down to those two things and gotcha. it always works when i reset both of them mm. and one time it, it worked when i reset one of them but i'm still narrowing it down so i'm going to post in the forums um those fixes but but the other person didn't say they had a frame meister so that adds a weird complication too that it's somehow related to that um but now we're going to show the final thing are we oh so mean <laughs> that still is not actually fixed in this yes um that so was uh, best with uh mappy or, or flappy, flappy bird, bird. Mappy, and it flappy is bird. <laughs> and it's and it's the tearing issue yeah Unfortunately, this is a very button heavy, so you're gonna hear the button go a lot. Yeah, if yeah, if I turn off the system, it's hard to get the sound back. Not impossible, but I can. Mm. So I, I'll try it for the last for the last thing I do. I'm going to try and get Chetteri's sound. It's not how you say it, but 
And this is how you're supposed to skate. If I'm not mistaken, oh, you can see some tearing there in the bottom. Yeah. So look at the pipes. In the yes, group. especially the bottom, the, the bottom, bottom edge. Yeah, the bottom edge. The bottom edge does pipe. tear. Yeah. I mean, it's not. It's not terrible, but you great. really would hope that wouldn't happen. And I remember playing it last time. There were some games that were like, oh, this is this is it's, tough it's to look at. Yeah. So now you can really see it. You can it really nice. see it at the bottom. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very, very gently. It's almost two frames off. It, but it, it's, it, not. it's also kind of screwing with my eyes. Like so. Yeah, so it does make it yeah. really hard to look at for yeah, a while. Yeah, it does. And that, Stephen A has said, it's not impossible to fix that issue. Mm. Uh, oh, oh, no, sorry. it's okay, buddy. Oh, he was fast asleep. So, so Dirty Harry <laughs> posted on July 27, 2018. Mm -hmm. tearing, uh, tearing causes rifts in the picture, in particular during fast horizontal movements, as we see here. The problem affects every application that renders a video stream, not just Stella, and is m caused by missing synchronization between the frame drawing by the application, which is the Stella program, and the screen refresh by the video hardware, which is also inside the Retron 77. The application draws a new frame while the hardware is halfway done rendering the old frame to the screen. And the result is an image that shows parts of the old and new. Funny because it's player zero equals player zero plus one. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Uh, because the pipe is um, drawn by player zero, I guess. Uh, the solution is simple. The application needs to wait until the hardware is finished displaying before it renders a new frame. And that is what's called V-Sync. Old versions of Stella, like the one used by Hypercan, using SDL1 for video display, whose V-Sync support was patchy. Newer versions, Stella 4 and up, use SD2, which uses hardware acceler acceleration which supports V-Sync much better. So the Retron 77 has a Mali video core that supports hardware acceleration, but the way Hyperkin rigged it up, the system doesn't use it. SDL1 renders it directly to the Linux frame bus buffer and does not do V-Sync. The problem should be void as soon as someone gets hardware acceleration and SDL2 running and ports current Stella to the de device. It has nothing to do with performance. And I was reading about in the log file or the write-up about Stella that Stephen A did a, lot, a while back is that there is a graphics driver that does support SDL2 for the graphics hardware in the Retron 77. Um, so it is completely possible, but it just will take somebody to get in and do the work. This game is too noisy. <laughs> it's too noisy. Sorry. Um, so it is possible, and with enough donations or enough work, enough help, uh, Stephen A can get the new versions of Stella on the Retron oh, 77. So good. I don't think this Retron 77 is done just yet. Good. And now that it supports all these new games, it's a pretty decent system portable play. system. Yeah. And you don't see that tearing affecting too much a lot of it. No, that game the it's very pronounced Flappy, Flappy Bird really shows it and you and I was going going to point out, but I died. Yeah. Uh, in the first round it you could see the bottom edge affected and the second round the top. Oh. So it depends. it's sort of and 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 um Have you ever watched somebody yeah taking a video of a television screen yeah and there's this line yeah you see the, the refresh rate right and that's the out of sync yes that's kind of what's going on yeah so at some point that out of syncness is at the it's bottom showing it and yeah. then it's moving yeah either down or up yeah so it's just well, out of sync what was interesting was the second round i played there was um the gaps were at the top the first round the gaps were at the bottom Oh, and so yeah, yeah, there was yeah. something something almost related to that because the gaps were further up and I had to hit the button more. But um, and then all of a sudden the tearing was happening on the top tube, not the bottom green tube. Yeah, so sense. it depends so, at what interesting. time yeah. the tearing is going to happen and where 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 the things cutoff. are on the screen too. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're gonna play Bell Hopper. Yay! I have to switch some things over because this is HDMI and I have to go back to RGB and make sure everything is good.
And I think this is a paddle game. I'm not hearing the Atari box. Right. Oh, because it's not plugged in. That's okay. <laughs> you don't need to hear that ding, 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 because I don't think this uses it. No. Uses it, so. 2011? Yeah, it's an older uh, game. 2011 release? Yeah. So, let me just make sure before we start. Are we doing Christmas themed games? We are. It's Christmas themed now. Yay! So, I think this. So many good Christmas themes. Yeah. So, I don't think that's working. What is it? Oh, it's not moving. I suppose says these devices seem designed without any care. Even Sony making its own PS1 doesn't care that half the games for the US were running at 50 hertz. Yeah, I've been watching some reviews on the uh, PlayStation 1 Classic. And mm -hmm. they really not didn't put much care into it. A lot of the graphics are very blur. They're not one for one pixels. Yeah. It's just they just don't care. They yeah. just put it out and go, yeah, good enough. This is People the best we can it. do, so take it. Yeah. I, I think they go, how much time? How much is it going to cost to make it up to that level? Yeah. And it's just a. They probably think of it as a throwaway Christmas, you know, fun toy, right? I don't know, but I mean, I look at the Hyperkin, and they're they're to play existing games. So, yeah, you, the market you're going for is smaller as it is. Like you're you're really focusing on people who still have their games. So I don't I don't there quite get it. You would think they would want something really. Um, what am I doing? I don't know. You're hopping on bells. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you fall back down? But you don't die. Well, that's good. But, but I mean, these these uh, systems... Oh, people can't see it. One second. Sorry. There you go. No ah. screen. Thank you, Zybot. There you go. New high score. 1140. Um, I mean, these, these products have the company's name. Like, the PlayStation 1 Classic says Sony on it. Oh, you can get that. I was afraid you were going to die. Bell Hopper is a rare paddle, you fail. <laughs> paddle and joystick controller compatible. Yeah, it is very unusual. Oh no, we played a game the other night that was a uh, driving controller and joystick controller. What was that one that we... Um, grandma, uh, Grandma's Revenge. Reindeer Revenge. What was it called? <laughs> and, it, and you could drive the car either with the driving paddle okay. or the joystick. We we're playing with the joystick at first, um, but uh, who suggested that we uh, switch over? I think it was Al from Atari Age said, oh yeah, you should definitely plug in the, the driving paddle, and it was way, way better. Grandma's Revenge, so I did get it right the first time. So it's like one of those jumping games. Kind right? of amoeba jumpy, actually. Kind of amoeba jumpy. It's kind of like Amoeba Jump on the white level, where you don't get a second chance to hop on the same platform. You have to keep going up. Yeah. Oh, you can go down too? Yeah. You missed then... it. Oh! At least you oh, so die. the old bells stay. Yeah. Wow. Yes, but you have, to, you have to land on one to keep going. Yep. Grandma's Revenge. Thank you, Zybot and Mr. Fix. My turn. Last show I did, I was like reading the whole time. Yeah? Actually, Erlen I'll... was playing and you were reading? Yes. So I didn't, that's why we're, that's why we're playing, um, Stay Frosty again tonight. Because I didn't play it at all. And I love that <laughs> game. So this, uh, is Bellhopper, 2011 by Thomas, how do you say the, the A with the two umlauts? Oh, it, it doesn't it emphasize uh, the difference between two vowels? Yeah. What is it? Like in English, it would be Harden, but it has a two a two two, two dots. Harden, Harden, maybe. I don't, I know. don't know. Thomas Harden, A.K.A. T. T. Joppin. Um, so this was uh, one of the games on the bike before Christmas, um, but uh, I don't have that cartridge. But maybe this will convince me to get the cartridge if it's. Uh, like this is a cool cute. game so far. Uh, but now the step between. Yeah. Yeah. It's you fail. I know. <laughs> you fail. <laughs> You, you suck. Um, Bellhopper. Humanity slept. The animal kingdom did not. The most magical of all creatures, the bunny rabbits, oh. sensed that an evil magical deed uh, 
Oh, magical twice in a row. Uh, evil magical deed had been performed. Being the keepers of good, the rabbit elders knew they had to undo this wrong. They sent forth their youngest jumper. He alone was pure enough to see the magic sky bells. And he alone could jump high enough to ring them. Aww. The elders watched him leave on his journey with much anticipation. Aww. Would he be able to play the bell song and wake up humanity from the ill slumber? So this game is a demake, a port of the Flash game called Winter Bells. So um, Flash games are usually, well, they are online. So you kind of jump up two levels, so it is possible to recover. Oh, good job. Whoa. Ah, oh, it's oh. hard. Um, the game is a demake. Uh, you steer you using either joystick or paddle. Yeah. Um, it took about 10 months to write from start to finish, including how to figure out how this damn machine works. It's only PAL at the moment, but I've taken some measures to ensure NTSC port shouldn't be too hard. I'll either get that done in the next couple days or just put up the code for somebody else to write a patch. This is when he just first put it out. Mm. Uh, Mattel's M Network Astro Blast with falling asteroids uses paddle or joystick. So much better with paddle. Oh, that's very cool. So that's an old example of, of a paddle or joystick. Let's see how well I do. Ooh, this is very. Yeah, movie. with a paddle, it might oh, work twice as well. Oh my goodness! Yeah, he he has a funny di uh, movement. He's Does. very um. Very j jittery, jumpy, jumpy little dude. Yeah. Oh my god. Maybe we'll try the paddle. What do you think? Yeah, the paddle is probably one to one uh, to try. Yeah. You need precise control. Um, yeah, less. Oh, he kind of jolts a bit. Sometimes. He jolts a bit. Yeah, it, it's a bit challenging, but it, like I said, it, it it is reminiscent of like amoeba jump. Very much so. You know, but uh, oh, you already beaten me. First Holy part. smokes! Uh, uh, Twenty-five thousand. Very 50. good. Oh, it's got a little dot on the bottom. Yeah, it shows where where, where you, you are. So that's the paddle might make that easier. I'm not sure. uh, Oh, that's probably more for the paddle. Yeah. A bit more precise control. I find you overshoot with the joystick a little. Yeah. We'll do one more and then we're going to have too much for that. <laughs> then there's nothing left even yeah, if you hit one on the bottom. Few. So let me get a paddle. Okay. And see how that plays. And I'm guessing it's going to be better. Oh, an RC7E who is uh, giving us some bits, 500 bits. Thank you so much for giving those bits in the last episode. Very, very nice. First yes. time anybody's given us bits. I know. <laughs> very nice. Uh, it does support battle. I bet if you use it, you'll do twice as well. I bet. I it bet would, that's It's true. one of those games that seems like it would be better with well, the battle. Well, you can. So if you look at the movement of that point and the hitting of the joystick. Oh, the sound not working out. Um, it, it, it kind of goes in chunks. And the cat's in my spot. Yeah, come on. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on. Come here. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, I don't know about this paddle. Let's see. Oh, is it harder? No. There's more takes... precise control for sure. Oh, yeah. This the is... joystick was in, it was like chunk, chunk, chunk. Oh. It takes a little getting used to it. It's yeah. a little different. Hi. Hi. Did you find out what I mean? What they mean? Yes. The bits are uh, correspond to uh, uh, one uh, bit is uh, one cent. Yes. A donation. A donation. Yeah. So thank you so much for the 500 bits. Yeah. Oh, oh, I recovered. Yeah. Is it easier with the paddle or harder? It's different. Yeah. I don't know yet. Oh, uh, no. Get it. Oh. 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 I think it's a, it's definitely more fine control. Yeah, you can see it at the bottom how the uh, cursor moves. Yeah. For sure. So I'm gonna say yes, but you'll have but you have to get used to it. Watch that cat. He's just sniffing. He's not doing anything. He's not chewing anyone's headphones. I find the rabbit moves quicker. Like you can get him over to a bell. Yeah. A lot faster. With the paddle. There you go. I tried to suggest for Amoeba Jump remembering the platform scrolled off, but it's neat that it remembers. Yeah, it's a different type of game. 
Amoeba jump, if you miss, you're, you're done. You missed. And I think there's too many platforms in Amoeba jump. You'd always recover if it scrolled back enough. Yeah, that's true. In this one, you are pretty much killing every bell. If Amoeba jump was just white platforms, that would make more sense. Oh. See, it's, it's more precise, but that... In, it's more it, precise. But that makes it harder in a different way. Yeah. It's when you have to you have to suddenly jump over to a a spot that's further away that I yes. find it starts it's to become not enough. challenging because he doesn't have like fast fast movements. It it yeah the paddle is what I thought I was dead there. <laughs> ah. Oh recovery. Yeah it's well, like when you're quick. jumping over it there's like a lag and then you kind of fly. See well, you how gotta slow beat my score. I'm not going to be your score. 25,000. That was pretty high. You got 30. I don't know how you got so many. Skill. Pure skill. No, no, but skill. I mean... Um, <laughs> I think it's the bird. You something got... something you, oh, you the, hit. Oh, the higher you get, the faster your score goes up. Oh, that would explain. So I think it's based on height. Because now it's like 3,000. You're getting... Yeah, because the first bell is like 10. And then it goes 20 or something. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's not enough. No. Oh. oh. They just don't come down fast. Interesting. Once you fall down, you're kind of screwed unless there's a whole bunch in a row, so. I like that it keeps your score and you don't you don't die technically. You just no. keep keep playing and that's that's the little kinda, rabbit keeps going. That's He's kinda, fine. It's kind of nice, you know. There's no like you nope. know, game over screen and reboot. It just keeps playing. You just continually keep that playing. That is a nice little fact that it you is. just fall to the ground. Although I do think it's kind of crazy that if you get really, really high... <laughs> you fall way You down. fall really far. <laughs> That'll be interesting to see, actually. Yeah. Yeah, because you're pretty high now. You've got 42. Uh. Oh, hi! Uh. 90,000! Good job! You can do it! I don't think so. <laughs> and he said, can anybody beat my high score? And I'm sure it's higher than 90,000. That didn't go for very long. Let me take a look at what his top score was. Uh, in the video below, 8 minutes to 10, 19 minutes. Oh, no. Play for two minutes. Where's his score? Oh, it's so dark. I can't even see it. New high score. Oh, that's not... That's not a score. Oh, who knows what his score is, then. Try to beat my score in the bottom. 8.14 times 10 to the 19th. Oh, his score's all screwed up, that's why. <laughs> oh no, it's not actually. Oh, because it goes up exponentially after a while. Let me re-watch that, actually. Oh, it's so dark. Are you saying the numbers become exponential? They do. They do. Do they? Yes. Like, it fills the screen with numbers. Oh, that's it's so, so awesome. You want to Yep. It fills nice. the screen. Because, watch, the first bell. Ten. Ten points, right? Yeah. Now, let's see what it, the second bell does. Ten. Thirty. 30 60, sixty. Not 40, quite exponential. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. But yeah, it does some sort of... See, it goes up to five hundred after, like, yeah. only a couple bells. Yeah. How high can I go? Let's try and get into the exponentials. Like the oh. 10 to the? Yeah, 10 How to the something. How far across the screen does it go before it starts showing the 10 to the? Um, like how many numbers do you think it shows? It showed quite a bit. Um, damn it, why am I doing so terrible? Like you don't have to panic. Can take it slow and one at a time. Are the birds more? I bet the birds 
give you more points. Oh, huge! It doubles your score. Ah, so... That's why you get so high when you hit the bird. Yeah, yeah, the uh, birds are what, 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 they're doubling your score. Damn ah. it! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Fix. <laughs> go, Tanya, you go! I actually do find the paddle easier. You have more control with the paddle. I do have a tendency to overshoot, though, when I have to go from one side of the screen to the other, if it's a smaller movement. Yeah. So if I have to work on anything, I have to work on that. <laughs> Because then I overshoot and it's all, it all goes away. Yeah. So the, the birds are a big factor in getting uh, a high score. Are a big factor in getting a high score. You want to get every single bird uh, you can. Missed it. Yeah. So that, that explains. I'm like, how did you get, like on your first try, you're at 28. I'm going, I don't think you've hit more bells than I did. <laughs> but your score went up. And then I realized, ah, it's the bird. It's the bird that, that it Somebody literally said doubles your score. Somebody scientific notation. Yep. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Can you read that? If it actually displays in scientific notation, that'll be an impressive feature. Yes, I agree. I want to see. So we're in the hundreds of thousands. I would say this game is the game that has the highest... Damn it! Oh, you almost had the bird! You would have kicked butt! Ah. Oh. In the very, very dark video demo, it looked like there was like at least 10 to 12 digits. 10 to 12 digits? Yeah. Mm, so you're in the trillions then. <laughs> Billions is, is, is nine. Ah! Billion is what? Nine. Nine, yeah. Trillion is 12. Quadrillion is 15. Quintillion <laughs> is 18. Sextillion. Just keep adding threes. It's all about the birds. It is all about the birds. I think the paddle is the best way to go. What do you think? Yes, I actually do. I think the battle, the paddle, a little awkward at first, but when you get used to it, it provides way more control. Yes. Way more control. I mean, the paddle is one of the best input devices ever made. Because it's so precise and it's analog, right? Rather yeah. than the digital of a joystick. He's not so much jumping because when you hit you hit a bell, you don't necessarily jump on it. You pass through the bell and then it, it gives you height and loft. Like yeah. like it's it's You're not jumping on it. like no, because it propels you upwards. Hitting the bell propels you upwards, whereas amoeba jump, you jump off the platform. Yes. So the so the, the experience it feels a little different. So what are we up to now? You are what are what are we here? Seven million, fifteen million. Million? Yeah. Oh, okay. I wanna see billion. I wonder when it's gonna turn over. <gasps> no! no! <laughs> 31 million. 31 million. I'm not going to hit that. that. I don't think so. This definitely has to be the game that has the highest scores of any Atari game I ever. I think that's awesome. I've never seen uh, an Atari game or 31 pretty much million. That shows that. But it kind goes of, way oh, higher no. than that. Like way, yeah. way, way higher. Yeah. It's, it's all about the birds. If you're doubling your score with the birds, then it's not really surprising. I'm just not, I don't have the control you have. <laughs> <sighs> well, the, the maker of the game got 8.14 times 10 to the 19th. Oh. So that's 8 with 19 zeros. Okay. Sorry, say that again. 8.4 8 8 times, times 10, 10 to, to the, the 19th. 19th. So right. what are we looking at? That is... Uh, Trillion, quadrillion, quintillion, so that's, what was it again? 8.14 times 10 to the 19. 84 quadrillion? 84 quadrillion? quintillion. You gonna play it? Quintillion. 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 Mr. Fex says, do you ever let Tanya win? No. No. 
<laughs> if Tanya wins, Tanya wins. That's but right. But I'm not going to let her win. Hey, That's I won. Terrible. I won at uh, Satan's Hollow, so yeah. I'm just going to ride that high for <laughs> as long as I can. Yeah, during our, our gaming event. Yeah. She did very well in Satan's Hollow. I love Satan's Hollow. I realized at, at PRGE, I'll let you play, you're doing much better, at PRGE that not only had I played that game many times because we came across it in the arcade, but I had it on my Commodore 64, and I played it a lot. Oh, I did too, yeah. Um, it's one of my, fi and, and, my and favorite games. I remember you saying, oh, have you played Satan's Hall? And I'm like, no, I don't think so. Then I started <laughs> playing it. I was like, oh my god, I know this game. <laughs> <laughs> I played it a lot, so that's a fun game. It's funny how you come across you come across these things you haven't played uh, in oh, got him. yeah you did in such a long time and then you start playing it and it's like that muscle memory is right there and and you just yeah you, know, you go right back to you it. go right back as though you were you know like ten years old playing a He's game right. on a computer oh it's so cute too it's a very cute tiny little yeah I, I I am very much enjoying this game. And yeah. the bells are like double sized um, sprites. And the yeah, they're quite rabbit, large. Rabbit is single. Damn it, I missed it. So when you say double si sized, it's taking up two sprites every time one's on the screen? Two pixels. Two pixels? Oh, yeah, instead of. See, the rabbit is very detailed. Yes. Um, talking. Yeah, um, it's okay. <laughs> yes, woohoo! Satan's Hollow on the C64. C mm hmm. What's your fix? Um. There's a function within the 2600 mm. that you just turn on for a sprite or a player. They call them mm. players because it was before sprites. Um, or they just call it a player because that's usually what they're made for. Um, that doubles the size so you can make larger characters. Mm -hmm. But it reduces the resolution because it's still 8, the width of 8. So those bells are probably 7 or 8 pixels, distinct pixels wide, but they're double the size of a normal graphic, which is the rabbit, I believe, is a, a, normal, a size. normal size. Like, that's the smallest resolution you can get on a 2600. Mm. I'm playing now, and I would tell you if this was a single line game or a double line, but I'm guessing the rabbit is single line graphics. Single line. Yeah, so there's another option where... Uh, it's okay, sometimes you can't get... <laughs> you can take two lines to draw something. Okay. Or one line. And if you draw it with two lines, you get more time to do programming in between. <gasps> one more, then you can play. Um, but if you do single line um, kernels you have a much more detailed um, game. But if you're using just plain old assembly code, not using an ARM processor to help you out, you have to sacrifice other things. Um, mostly what, how many things are on a line. Okay. Because um, you don't just don't have time to draw them all. So maybe you have like you, the other player, and the background, or something like that. But you're not going to have a ball, and a missile, and the other missile, and the play field, and the two sprites. Like, you're going to have to give up. You have to give something up. A bunch of those things up. Somebody can you read what it's on. Rabbit is double line. Players oh. can be single, double wide, and quadruple wide. Uh, Rabbit is double line, is it? Mm. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because it's a little chunky. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh you made it back! <laughs> Bounced onto something that was you couldn't even get to see. There you go. Yeah, definitely the birds are the key to this game. The bells slowly increase. Yeah, but the but birds... They, but they increase relative to your score, but the birds always double your score, which is way more than a bell ah! ever does. Oh, you could do it! No! Oh! That was fun. 
wasn't bad. I did another turn. <laughs> we did like 20 in a row. <laughs> True. Yeah, players can be single, double, or quadruple wide. So if you use, I see. If you use a character, if you use a sprite wisely, yeah. you can draw quite a, a wide yeah. line if you need it. Like say the your player has a, a sword or something okay. that you want to make really long, you can make one of the lines quadruple wide and it'll be like super super yeah. wide. Or the thing, or your character's always on a, a floating platform, you make the bottom line yeah. quadruple wide and that'll be your really wide. I love the fail message, yeah, yeah. it is quite... You suck is basically what it's saying. Yeah. But it's kind of like English. It was what is it? You It says you fail. You fail. That's normal English. Yeah. Oh, going for double bells. And I wonder if it's a factor of the height. Oh, oh recovery. Oh, redraws. oh no! Oh, you almost had a great recovery oh, there. Oh no, that was so close. <laughs> Yeah, you are playing, I suppose is right, these these games, as you play them, you just get better it better and better. And then it, it pushes you for, forward to kind of keep keep trying, right? So. Yes. Yeah. And the simplicity of it is And you so know what, fun. there's something about falling through the airspace <laughs> that, that you just climbed up. It's like an accomplishment. That, that, oh. that is um, maddening and yet yes. pushes you to keep trying. I don't know what it is. <laughs> It shows off your accomplishment. I suppose, yeah. <laughs> it's funny that way. And then you're like, no! Yeah. And you're falling and falling and falling. So that's good stuff. It is. Yeah, I like it. It's very, I don't think I've ever seen another game do that as well. Like Fall back through. Fall back like, through everything yeah, you've gone. And, and contain somehow in its memory everything you everything that went before it, if that, that makes sense. That is quite a bit like all the bells. All the bells that are there, so all the ones that you've missed are, are beneath Yeah, that's you. actually really hard. This must have extra memory, this mm. game, because that's way too much to remember every bell, whether you got it or not. It's only got... Uh, 128 bites of memory. No! Oh, you were doing well. Oh, I thought I had that. <sighs> you just made me curious if, any, if there are any single true... True single line Colonel Grant games. Oh, I'm sure there are. There's many. Are you talking about old school ones? Or DPC Plus and CDF games? Because those are definitely able to do single lines oh, oh my god and the thing is you fall down so fast there's no way you can just magically like it's only it's pure pure coincidence if you happen to hit one on the way down and and also there's not enough bells no to because recover. You, yeah unless you hit every, maybe every second one i don't yeah. think you'd be able to recover from it that might be a strategy actually maybe but you get fewer points well I, you know what as long as you hit all the birds um, you'll continually uh, They can mix single line objects with double line objects. Yes. Mm. Yeah, you can choose at any time to do single line kernel to double line kernel because it's just what you want to do at each line. It's like the decision you want to make. Ah, oh, the rabbit goes so slowly at the edges. Yes. Like you're trying, like I was trying to get over and it was like, you can only get over so much. It's creeps. weird, and then you you also overshoot with the with with the movements sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you, you overshoot because it's so yes. sensitive. Yeah, the paddle's so sensitive. But uh, your score's been pretty good. I mm -hmm. still want to see exponents, though. So. Yep. So do I. It it, it may not get, get exponents. It may just have a huge number. Oh, that he's just, just saying that's what screen. is his, his exponent. Yeah, it was just easier than typing the whole thing. Yeah. Out, I think. Well, if you know what. But if you don't get all the birds, you're never going to get up that high. Well, Or yeah. get as many birds as you can. No! You know what? It's not a bad strategy to go for... Every second one? Because then you have a recovery. Possibly. 
but I don't think it's that easy to do. I mean, they're so not, random. Not like a, 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 a recovery. I couldn't get over it. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> because it, you can only go so far with this rabbit. It, it goes so slowly. Yeah. This game is magically delicious. I agree. I it does look like a Trix is it rabbit. Blue, is it Bluebells? No, it's yeah. that's uh, Lucky Charms. Yes, it's Trix. No, Frosted yeah. Lucky Charms. For what? It's not Trix, is it? Lucky Charms is a stereotypical leprechaun dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, magically delicious. Yeah. But I was thinking the rabbit. No, right? no, no, yes. you're thinking of Trix. Uh, yeah, no, there's bells in there. Is the, there bells? I'm pretty in... sure. I haven't had Lucky Charms Lucky in Charms? a really long time. I never had Lucky Charms because no, well, we grew up with eating cereal that has no sugar in it. Yes. But the I irony is that we could put as much sugar on it as we wanted. You mm -hmm. just couldn't have sugar in the cereal, which didn't make any sense. So I always had, I always had um, sugary cereal at friends' house. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Like, oh, I was give the me same. Your sugary cereal. I was the same. Uh, <laughs> You know, it was like Cheerios and Rice Krispies at home, and Weetabix, which we oh Weetabix. Uh, yeah, but uh, but at other people's houses and things like that, you know, you'd sometimes have Fruit Loops or. Is Weetabix a Canadian and British British thing? For sure, it's I'm British. sure yeah. people in the U.S. have no idea what the horror of Weetabix is. <laughs> the horror of Weetabix. It's just the horror of Weetabix for you because your dad. Brought, brought home a case. a case of them. And we couldn't have any cereal other than Weetabix until we ate it all. <laughs> and there's two states to Weetabix. There is dry as hell yeah. or mushy as hell. Yeah. There's no in between with Did Weetabix. Did you have it hot? I or, had it or just every cold? way possible <laughs> because we had to get through a case of it. Couldn't just throw it away. Actually, I never thought of that. Could have just thrown it away. Brought it wow. to school with me and thrown it in the garbage. I could have bought a brought a, a box every week to school and just chucked it in the bin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're out of weed picks. How did that happen? <laughs> Let's see. Lucky Charms. What are the charms in Lucky Charms? I don't think it is a bell. Is there a bell? It's diamonds, clovers, uh, rain, rainbows. Rainbows. Yeah, there, at one point they put rainbows in there. I thought there was a, like a blue bell or something in there. Well, I will be finding out momentarily. I could momentarily. be wrong. I could be wrong. And that reference could have just been because he thinks the game is fun. But, well, there's uh, a bunch of them. Yeah. The lineup has changed occasionally. I, <laughs> Mr. Fix said, I not only had cereal with that sugar, had sugar in it, but on it as well. Yeah. <laughs> Diabetes, anyone? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. See, but but to counteract all the cereal that I had, yes. uh, I refused to, oh. to drink. Oh. I refused to drink a lot of milk. So in order to do so, I always had um, strawberry quick in my milk. How so that counteract so it? I'm oh. pretty sure that sort of that that sh uh, sort of um, negated the no sugar cereal. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or did you? There have... was a bluebell. Yeah, I believe so. It's originally pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, green clovers. Okay. Uh, then blue diamonds. Okay, blue diamonds. Purple horseshoes. Red balloons. Oh, the red balloons, I remember those. Kind of Green ones. trees. Green trees. Rainbows in 92. Yeah, I remember the rainbows. Blue moons. Blue moons. Leprechaun hats. Uh, orange shooting stars. Shooting stars? What's up with that? Um, around the world charms. I don't know what those are. Uh, A crystal uh, ball in 2001. An hourglass, 2008. Um, swirl moons. Wow, that has changed a lot. So no bells up to this point. There's, there's no there's bells. No bells. That's funny. I can't see any bells. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna do a search on the page for bells. I I think Just I think there's case. no bells. I don't know where the bells came. The bell would be a, an obvious one. Nope, no bells. Hmm. No bells. Thank you for thank you, chat, for keeping the umlaut. umlaut. <laughs> There we go. Nice. Yes, the chat is umlaut friendly. I'm guessing it's because it's uh, a worldwide thing, um, Twitch, and they, they need to have all the different characters. I'm sure it supports kanji and Chinese characters. and. 
Okay, last game. It might be okay. time for another drink. <laughs> uh -oh. You need to bring more down with you. That's okay. It's not far to go. No. Bird. Bird. There we go. Yeah, you're definitely doing a good job now. It is super fun, though. It is. I never super thought we would be fun. playing this game for so, so long. It's just mm. one of those games, those simple <laughs> games that is just really, really, really fun. Maybe I will buy this game. This is just one of the games in the uh, the compilation Christmas. Co oh! Oh no! One more. Oh, smoosh. Right. Okay, you play again. I'm getting another drink. And if you notice, the Light stars nice. change color in the background yeah. as you go up, which is really nice. And they're kind of twinkly. Bird must get the bird. So no, no bells in Lucky Charms, even though it would be super obvious and such a simple thing to add in. Like it would seem like an obvious thing because the, the shape is just like a, ah, uh, blue diamonds, green clovers. Yes, that makes sense. Yeah. You do move faster in the air than you do on the ground. It seems like you move really slow on the ground, which you do. But once you're in the air, this rabbit can, can zoom around, which is very strange. It's got video game physics, which is being able to change direction in midair. Oh, oh my goodness. And just like um, amoeba jump, you can accidentally hit a bell that you're not expecting to hit and catch your leg on it and then be boosted to somewhere that you were not expecting to go. You're like, oh my god, where am I? And then you get lost in it. What am I doing? Not too bad. Pretty far from what I was doing before, but it takes a little while to get up there. And the video is, video is like two minutes long. He must have gotten every bird all the way up. Of course, being the programmer of the game, you get a lot of play testing in. Oh, the bells are getting far apart. <gasps> Missed the bird. Damn it. But it seems like the game just kind of repeats over and over again, but still makes it more tense because as as you go up, you're like, oh my god, I can't miss it now. It's like I've gone so far, but I mean, the bells are the same difficulty apart. They don't make them more spaced apart. The bird comes at regular intervals. It doesn't get any harder. It's, it's, that's a very strange property of this game as well. It doesn't get any harder. It's exactly as hard in the beginning as it is now. Which is, you know, a very weird property. I can't see my score because I'm like too concentrated on making sure I don't die. I can't take my eyes off of it. My palms are sweaty. Knees are heavy. <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. Okay, come on. It seems like a very large number, but I can't tell. on in. Large number. But I don't know what it is. Is it, is it 19 digits or not? <gasps> no! Oh, it's okay. It'll still be there. Uh, how many digits is that? It's not 19, that's for sure. Three, one, two, it's three, a Christmas 12. miracle! Oh, you had 1.4 uh, trillion. 1.4 trillion. Seems like a nice game to get yourself into relaxing. It seems that way. But it's not. It's not relaxing. You you just get super oh, sorry. sweaty. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Six. Nine. Twelve. Thousand. So one point four times eleven. Ten to the eleventh. Billion. One hundred and forty four billion. So I think that's a decent score. One more, I think so too. I think but I mean can... to do that and every mm. let's say you have just birds. Because those are the big scoring ones. Um, to get an extra 
10 times 10. You take 10, mm -hmm. double it to 20, so 20, yeah. 40, 80, and then... The birds? What are you talking about? Are you talking about birds the Birds double. No, no. Birds double your score. Double your overall score. Yes. Yeah. So I'm saying to get a times 10, mm -hmm. how many birds do you have to get? And you go from 10, goes to 20, then 40, then 80, then 160. So that's a fact, more than a factor of 10. So you have to get one, two, three, four birds to get another digit. Minimum of four birds. One, two, three, four. But in the meantime, you're getting bells too, of course. Ye 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 to go up a, no a number? Yeah, but I mean, if you have 500, ding, it'll ding, double ding, you ding. to 1,000. If you have five something or higher, that. you'll go up a digit. But I'm saying every 10. If you have 1,000, you have to get four, four birds to get to... Yeah, 000. if you don't get any bells along. The way. Yes, but yes. you will. So, yeah. so three, you still need three. bells. I know what you're saying, but right, ten, thirty, forty, hundred, hundred, fifties. Yeah, I see what you're saying. And that just doubles. And that just doubles it. Yeah. But it's I don't like, know how it scales. Yeah. Like I don't know how the bells scale. Anyway, I don't know what this <laughs> Mr. Game. Fix, I'm going to hear that dinging all night. Ding, 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 ding. ding, 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 ding. When you're not trying to beat the world record in front of an audience. I'm always trying to beat the world record in front of an audience. <laughs> That's the fun of it. Okay, we're going to play... Uh, the next game is called Naughty List. If you want to... Um, mm -hmm. Actually, you don't need to do anything. No. Actually, we need to plug in... The box? The other joystick, because these are joystick games. Okay. And we've been playing with... A paddle, which has been very cooperative paddle. This cat has been such a wonderful little companion. He's just sleeping here. He's a good kitty. He seems to enjoy the dinging. Ding, ding, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Do you like the dings? Hold down the middle ding, button, ding. please. Yep. Doo dee doo. Good. Okay. There's no doo dee doo. No, right now. <laughs> I unplugged it because we were playing a, a two player game. Mm. Uh, so it's naughty list. Here you go. <laughs> that ding pierces the ear too. I turned my volume ding, way ding, down. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Sorry. It is. It is. Was it a bit much? It's a little shrill. I can still hear it across the entire house. <laughs> yeah. It's just at the right That's pitch. Funny. <laughs> okay, this naughty list 2011. It was on the same cartridge, mm -hmm. uh, Bite Before Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, this is made by Mike Sarna, aka Rev Eng. Um, which spells out revenge. Yes. But it stands for, uh, oh my goodness, I forget now. It's not revolutionary revolutionary engineering. It's something else. Rev, rev. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's something to do with programming. Um, Naughty List. The Elf Union has gone on strike. In Naughty List, you play as Santa. Your mission is to drop packages full of explosives onto ugly union buildings, complete, <laughs> completely destroying them. Okay. Each package you drop needs to hit the building dead center to cause destruction. Oh my goodness. Packages that miss the mark have no effect. Larger buildings will need multiple hits to reduce them to rubble. But your mission isn't as easy as it sounds. Your reindeer are tired from delivering presents. So as you fly over the block, your deer will drop closer and closer to the buildings. If you smash into a building, you'll lose a deer. Okay. You only have three to spare. Oh, and no. take care not to drop packages onto innocent bystanders, bystanders below. Okay. So, so we're dropping bombs on bombs. I guess you just press a button to start. Yeah, so there's Santa. He is uh, he's very colorful. Oh, I see. He is one player character. And then you've got a triplicate. Oh, jeez. It falls almost straight down. Oh, so there's momentum. Oh, there you go. Oh, Mr. Fix had to turn it down, too. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Where's Elf Bowling? Oh, no Elf Bowling. I don't actually own the Oh, cartridge. no, I killed him. R.I.P. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, that, that means it's that over? That finished my game, apparently. Oh, boy. So four buildings that and is, can't Oh, see, I lost it. I lost a reindeer. Oh, okay. Uh, hi all, this is Revenge, posting on December 2016 when he released this for everybody to play. I'm wishing everybody at Atari Age a Merry Christmas and sharing the ROM for the mini naughty list, the be fight, Bite Before Christmas multi-cart. Uh, in naughty list, uh, da, 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 da. 
Uh, yes, yes, yes. Ah. Tips. When possible, try to bomb multiple buildings with each pass of the block. As you'll finish oh. the level quicker and earn more. So you can press it twice. <laughs> of course, you still have to time it properly. Uh oh, you crash. I crash in the Union Building. <laughs> when there are multiple small cool. buildings and construction vehicles, so you have made it to the second level, which has apparently construction vehicles. You should focus on breaking up these grouped buildings first. You can't hit. You can't drop more than one. Uh, I guess it's only when, it when you're lower. Yeah. When you're lower, you probably can. Yeah, because you're already past the building. Yeah. Because it's really do or die time when you're that low. No. To get dead center. No. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. No. Oh. Got a couple more passes to I go. No. no. Oh no, you're gonna crash. You have to be so close. Uh, oh my goodness, I'm not very good at this. Now. My turn. No, one more. One more. <laughs> okay. Getting used to it. Uh, during this time, uh, the construction vehicles will build up other buildings. But once you've eliminated the groups, you'll be able to remove others by striking multiple buildings in each pass. Another publicly available game from the bike before Christmas is Bellhopper, which we just played, which you should also check out if you haven't. Aside from this from being great fun, it features the highest scores of any 2600 game, so he does confirm it. Yeah, nice. Uh, lastly, if you own the bike before Christmas or are feeling in the giving spirit, the AA store has no reviews for this multi-cart. Maybe this will be the year some cuts, kind soul shares some words. So it went from 2011 to 2016 with no reviews. Oh, so close. So close. Are you going to give me a chance? No, nope. because I have it. I have more reindeer. Oh, right. Oh, well, you got it. Good. How many passes? Oh, you're going to get it. Yes. So it has to be within the whole building, oh, I yeah. guess. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really drift all that far. So, what were the other games on the cartridge? I'm guessing it's Elf Bowling. No, Elf Bowling is not on here. Santa's Scabs. And Santa's Scabs. Yeah. Uh, Santa's hiring replacement workers. And Christmas Adventure is the other one. Hmm. It's like a maze game. You always think it should drift Oh my god, look further. at all the buildings. You're going to have to get one every pass. Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh, they're building up. So it's dangerous, so get that one. Mm, I thought I would have. No, oh, you there got it. There we go. Oh, oh no! That's but at least... challenging. See, you have to get it right on. Yeah, within the building time, the, the building edges. Oh, terrible. You can't bomb the tractor. No, he's the one who's ma who makes the buildings get bigger. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you have a lot of work to do. There we go. Focus on breaking up these grouped buildings first. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. Now you can do multiple ones. Oh, you're gonna die. Yeah, I know. Have to hit it. Oh, oh that was your last chance. No. Oh. <gasps> Doesn't matter. Oh, I still wow. lost. I lost my reindeer. So. Nope. Can't just randomly. <laughs> doing? Oh. It does drift. You should see? hit the first building first because that's the first one it's going to build up. It doesn't matter. No? No, because I still have... It's funny, you feel like it should drift a lot more than it actually does. Because <laughs> if you miss the first building, you're going to have to hit it mm. twice. Eventually. Doesn't matter. There we go. Yeah, you got it. Ooh. As soon as he starts building it. Good job. This will get the frust frustration yeah, meter to go is, up. Yeah, it is definitely a bit more. Oh, See, look how close you... Very close. Look how close. It looks like it should go. It should be bombing the first buildings. I don't care about the first buildings. They're not well, going to build build it up. Well, you have a chance to. Do it. Do it. See? Ugh. Definitely should... Uh... 
And again. Yeah, why didn't Twice. that work? <laughs> so and again. <laughs> See, you have to be more precise if mm. you just kind of. Ugh. Oh, oh so no. Close. It's not as much distance to fall now. Oh, look at that. There we go. Finally. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Terrible. Oh, trees. Good job. Oh, no. Even without the construction. Good job. Now the man is back. Good job. Two more to go. So close. Santa's really angry at the, at the union, eh? Yeah, no kidding. There's a lot of <laughs> union buildings in this town. Yeah. Very good union dues. Oh, dead. no, dead. Dead. Level three. You do feel like they should drift more than they do. Nope. Yeah. Be oh, careful you don't goodness. kill that guy. Oh, that's right. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. It's very precise. Very precise. Yeah, it it's very precise. Yeah, that's all, folks. That's mm -hmm. the tune. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm too low now. <laughs> oh, not like that, though. No. Oh, I know. No. It's... And because he moves lower down, you yeah, have to adjust. You have to, to adjust. That. Yeah. Every... Oh, I was not paying attention. Mm -hmm. You're not even going to get a chance, Mr. Bulldozer. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. So <laughs> Are you supposed to now? getting closer each pass? And during each, each pass, aim harder. <laughs> aim harder. Make it harder. Yep. Oh no, he's gonna get there. There you go. Just got it in time. Oh no! You lost I... a reindeer. Off to jail, Santa. Yeah. You can hit the union b buildings, but not the union members. It must be a holiday. Oh, you're gonna get him. Oh, oh you no. did it again! You have to pay attention! Ah. Uh. Oops. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna get the first building. No. Just get whatever. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is it for me. That was good. Yep. Nope. Nope, nope. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get that tall building now. Oh my goodness. No! No! No, 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 no. That's it. <laughs> Gotta get past that level. I think that's what you got to. Did I get past that or no? No. That was the... Oh, good job. Nice. Oh, that was way too early. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just know it is. Watch out for little dude. He's just walking around in the snow. Oh. Casually walking by destroyed buildings. Yeah. People bomb them from above. Yeah, that's a smart decision. No. Oh, it's way too far off. Oh, I can't do it this fast. No. Oh, what? You could have. I can't. You you I would have killed him. Oh. Nuts. 
do 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 What are you doing? Oh, wasted opportunity. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. There you go. That's fine. Nice. Oh, way too early. <laughs> it doesn't drift. It should drift a lot more. Oh. Uh, it always should drift a lot more. Doesn't that little dude know there's an air raid going on? Yeah, no kidding. Like, yeah. there should be air raid sirens blaring mm -hmm. as uh, the city gets bombed from above. There we Just go. in time. Phew! Phew! <laughs> Those are nice trees. Those are really good. Mm -hmm. Go bomb anything. Press the button. There you go. Oh, no. no. Wow. Nope. Oh no. Too bad it doesn't blow up that thing. That'd be too easy. It's very big. See, that's another good example of a doubled sprite. For how wide it is. Actually, they could have used two sprites. So that little, uh, I guess that might be made in vision. Um, Batari base and maybe not have that possibility, but they could have used a multi, a multicolor little bulldozer and put two uh, two sprites on top of each other. But it was not necessary. The reindeer are really good. And Santa. Yeah, they are, Santa's really good. He's got a lot of color in him. Mm -hmm. Luckily, he's always loud. Got that. Oh, and his hair and the little pom pom in his hat are in the same line. So mm -hmm. they're able to color them both white at the same time. Revenge made this, as the poster says. He also finished Batari Basic and added to it after Batari abandoned it. Oh, so he. Um, see, I don't know much about Batari Basic, but it sounds like. Was that the second? third level mm -hmm. so this is oh ooh, this is a level you haven't been to yet. this is a third one. Oh my god pretty much have to get those down immediately oh, that was way too early <laughs> good job yeah this level is pretty much like you have to do it in this order mm-hmm not gonna make it. Don't have a lot of room for error. No. Ooh, you got it just barely within a pixel. Ooh. You gotta make it. Don't say that. You're definitely gonna make it. <laughs> oh, nice. Ass. Oh, see? see, that was that was uh, I jumped the gun <laughs> Way too. too early, but you're so close now. Yeah, that's part of the problem. See, Tanya wins at some games. <laughs> I don't I have know. to let her win. She's good on her know. own. She plays. Depends on the type of game. She plays oh, more video boy. games than I do. In terms of hours. <laughs> that is true. That but it's is different true. games. What, what's you're playing? Um, oh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn right now. Nope, can't. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh, no. oh, that was good. But that's the only time he's going to do it. Oh. Well, until it loops No, you won't have time. You'll crash. Oh. oh. Oh, so close. Oh, really? <laughs> there we go. No, you'll get it now. I was supposed to say he also helped Bite Knight. And myself create Donkey Kong Atari Basic DPC, DPC Plus. Very nice. Everybody helps everybody in the community. Yeah. In Atari Age, so it's very nice. Everybody's a hand in every game, whether it's like play testing it this or is giving advice. Become oh, bad very quickly. Yes, very quickly. Oh no. I think that guy's going faster. Yeah, he is. That's why they're going up so quickly. Oh my god. This is not good. 
Agreed. So it doesn't even matter if you bomb them. He is raising those He's buildings up. He's still raising up. them up, but that's okay. No. Oh no! It's over! <laughs> the right here ran into you. <laughs> they looped around? Yep, they looped around. Uh, Ooh, good job. First shot. <gasps> that would be the way to do it. Yeah, you if you're an twice. expert at this game, that you would get, you would hit it perfectly. But it's so so hard. Actually, I don't even think you could hit the face. Oh, really? So close. This is the hard level. <laughs> really boosted up on this one. Really good building graphics as well, with the kind of brick, brick looking buildings. Oh yeah, this is where you start bombing twice. Oh no. Good job, good job. There's another guy no, coming, what is going no. on here? If he makes it, it's not gonna be good. He's gonna make it to at least one of them. No, I'm gonna hit it. Yep, on the next pass you will. No, oh, it's over. So it's over. That was really good. That is a tough one. Good job. 4271. High score. Okay, we're done with this one. Okay. <laughs> it is frustrating. Move on to the last game. All right. Which is Stay, Stay frosty. frosty. One or two? One. Mm. Two is for the end of the month because that is part of the homebrew tournament. Mm. Get to go first. I haven't played this in ages and I'm not very And we're good. going to finish every level. I think there's 32 levels. Oh, I thought let me you change the graphics. These guys. Yep, you extinguish them. That is what you need to do to them. There you go. Yeah, sorry, I have Mr. To Fix says, nice playing, Tanya. And Thank I agree, that was a very, very good run at, uh, what was that called? Naughty List. Jeez. So, this game is from 2007. It was on Stello Stocking, which we played on Wednesday, if you missed that. And we just played this game briefly, because we, um, we had a lot of games to go through, because we did a uh, Pac-Man extravaganza on Wednesday. So if you missed that, go check out the Pac-Man, and we played 10 different versions. Now you want to get all those for points. Oh, so you just yeah. want to get everything. Uh, yeah, but you want to get rid of the, uh, the fiery guns. You do want to avoid some of the ice at the beginning. Well, because you might need them later. You might need them. Because if, you're, you're, if your snowman's full and you eat an ice, it doesn't help you. You're just no. wasting it. Yeah, no, yeah. I get that. Okay. Um, so the history of Stay Frosty um, from Spiceware is on to October 29th, 2007, I was invited to take part in the fifth annual Atari Age Holiday Cart. The plan for this year's cart was to have a number of mini-games with a slick menu to tie the games together. I contacted my nephew Justin for some game ideas, and he suggested your Frosty collecting stuff and your Rudolph running away from the other reindeer because they're taunting you. Then I started pursuing the private holiday cart forum and came upon these mock-ups by Nathan Strum. And there's a whole bunch of mock-ups that look very, very close to this, except um, Frosty has three snowballs instead of just two. And he drew up a night version and a morning, uh, a night version, and a morning version, and a day version, and a melting snowman. Um, one of the challenges with the holiday cart is the short turnaround time, I would say. So he made this in like a month, this game, which is astounding, in fact. Uh, my first game, Medieval Mayhem, took nine months to complete. Stay Frosty was done in two, so he did it in two. Uh, oh, getting, getting a little melty. Uh, one of the major differences in programming the VCS versus modern hardware is a VCS only has 128 bytes of RAM, which isn't enough to hold a screen. As the CPU has to feed the TIA, the display chip, with data in real time to generate the display, this leads to some trade-offs as there are only 76 cycles of CPU time per scan line. 
You do melt if you just stand there too. Yeah. And the and the ice melts too, so it isn't as powerful. Oh, I don't know. If you jump off the edge there, yeah, at the but top. Yeah, you have to time it right. You do. It doesn't always jump. The first trade-off was to eliminate the carrot nose and the melt trail, which he did actually add in Stay Frosty 2, because he used DPC Plus to do that one. <laughs> you could do it before. Yeah. So don't jump too late. There you go. Um, next to go were the three fireballs per line, so it looks like he reduced that down to two. Oh no. Oh, you wanted to get some more. That's right. I have to. <laughs> yep. Getting all melty. Uh, come on. But those, co uh, the TIA has hardware to have up to three copies of a sprite on a scan line, but those copies are linked in what they show. Plus, they move in lockstep. In order for each fireball to melt by itself, the decision was made to flicker the sprite so we have two independent fireballs in each zone. So they would flicker back and forth between the two fireballs per line. So you can have one on the left, one on the right, or like that, two doubled up. Oh, those are actually independent fireballs. What? Because one is facing one way and one is facing the other. Unless he changed the look of the sprite in the time between, but I don't think he did. I think those are two independent ones. Uh, fire naturally flickers, so this was a minor trade-off, he said. Once that was resolved, the next trade-off was to slightly narrow the platform area, which saved two I TIA updates per scan line. Narrow the platform area. Oh, I'm guessing horizontally, so that it didn't extend all the way to the edge. Yes, two IA updates per scan line, so one at the beginning, one at the end. The trade-off brought back 18 bytes of, of much-needed RAM, plus it restored enough CPU time to bring back the melt trail. What oh, does he have a melt trail? Oh, he does have a little it bit is. of a melt trail. Stay Frosty ended up being uh, utilizing 12K out of the Holiday Cart 64. In that 12K, which is three banks of four, I managed to squeeze in 32 levels. Unfortunately, it doesn't display which level you're on, so I haven't been keeping track. <laughs> I just have to memorize what the level look like looks like. In order to make them all fit, I ended up reusing earlier levels later on in the game by adding platform movement. Okay. So they're the same levels repeated. You're too short. Just go off the screen. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter this time. You only get a bonus if you're a full snowman. You get a thousand points. The levels in the game were the design by myself, Nathan's Drum, of course, he's the master pro, um, graphics programmer, uh, and David uh, Vaz Vazquez, who I haven't heard the uh, uh, name of before, who did graphics, animation, label, and game manual artwork for Medieval Mayhem. Oh, okay. The graphics in Stay Frosty were all done by Nathan Strum, and as per usual, they're beautiful, and it's a very good example of... Um, single line graphics so you can see how detailed frosty is how tiny tiny the graphics are that is a, a very good example of the single line kernel because you can see his little oh boy that's not good nope you gotta be melted oh, okay. jump it so have to time it up perfectly there you go oh, oh and then you went backwards Fell off the platform. You have to get it this time. Oh, I can't I get it. Jump. There we go. No. Screenshots were all st generated by Stella, which is a minor flaw. It doesn't correctly generate the stars. Stars hat appeared at the night level. Hmm. With such having, oh, it's just about old screenshots on it. This is a difficult jump. Very last minute, if I remember correctly. No, nope, just not close enough to the well, edge. Does he not die in this? Oh, he does. Yeah, if you get melted all the way. I'm pretty sure. So you've been like that for a very long time. Yeah, maybe it. Uh... No. Nope. Maybe it's not sunny enough to melt you yet. You're not at a high enough level. <laughs> it's possible. So you, you may get a, a little bit of a break in this level then. 
I don't know because I've been I've been I've been melting, but maybe it doesn't let you die. Oh no, you just lost another one. Oh, I just can't get out there. Is the sun not moving? Mm, little by little, oh. it is moving. I think it's per level it moves, and not as you play a level. Oh, I hate I hate the timing on the jumps. It's like I'm either way too early. Or you miss it, right? Or I miss it. It's like there's no in between. Oh, and then he slides. Poor little head. He's gonna die very soon. Poor little snowball head. Oh! Can't get up there. Oh, that's very annoying. It's very precise. It is. Does it matter if you go? No. He speeds up, up. He speeds up to full speed. Do you think quickly. it's because he's not big enough? Maybe he has to be big. That is a possibility. Ugh. It's jump plus joystick plus speed before jump. Yeah. But it looks like you're up to speed. But you might want to take a running. No, but I'm not hitting it. I'm not hitting it. You can hear me hit the button. Yes, but it's just a touch late, right? It's, well, because if I'm early, I don't get it. So. Yeah. Oh, Arena Foot has arrived. Welcome, Arena Foot. Tanya is stuck on this level. Yeah, I'm going to die very soon. Can try? No. <laughs> I'd no. rather die. I knew before asking. Oh! It, 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 At, it's oh, not fast add enough. Add a diagonal right up on the joystick. Oh, oh, is maybe. that true? No. Too late. <laughs> you fall off. Fully slides. Oh. oh, there we go. Now you're full again. Mm. There you go. Two more snowmans. Yeah, save your... Oh, eating all the extra ones. Or it might be up. Mm. There you go. Get that one early, right? That's the hard one. I think you do have to be a certain size of snowman to do certain jumps. Yeah, I think you might be right there. Oh, oh yeah, no, that's not gonna work. I wouldn't go after those guys first, yeah. Maybe last. Oh, ha, ha. Yeah, the sun is in effect now. It's melting everything. level's pretty stingy on uh, yeah, the well, ice. Yeah, no, you have to do it so fast because what, the ice starts to melt. And the melting, yeah. And you start and to melt. You're dead. Yeah, I am dead. Pretty sure I am. Ah, I'm going <laughs> to die from the sun anyway. Oh. Wish it told you what level you're on. Come on. Get over. Ah, it just keeps sliding off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm just gonna die from that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh. oh. I knew he was gonna die anyway. Oh, come on. Sometimes he's too big. Yeah, there are times when the platforms are too close together to be a full snowman. Oh, now you have to get the ice block before you hit him. 
Oh. Get it quick! Run! Run! <laughs> oh. oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I think yeah. these later stages are very mm -hmm. stingy with the ice. No, you don't. This is a different level. This one's never, you've never been to one that, like this before. No. Nope. So they aren't repeating yet. Ah, I didn't mean, no! Uh, I think there's lots falling. of ice on this one. I don't know, maybe he's too big. He maybe might be, he might hit big. his head. Might hit his head on this one. Slippery, isn't he? He he does have a he does have a slide to him. Well, we're on the last game, Arena Foot, so you missed almost everything. <laughs> Cut the last game. You missed the uh, hmm. redemption of the Retron Seventy Seven, which uh, is now actually probably I'd give it a tentative recommend now because you can play. Pretty much all the homebrew software on it. Save Rusty. There you oh, go. you're dead. Yep. Okay. What'd you made it made it up to? All well, this ball no is like almost off. I'm just spinning it as I go. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, it was like completely off. Might have been adding to your difficulties. Mm -hmm. No, I think I was spinning it. You get um, you get a bonus of a thousand points if you finish if you're the full. level yeah. and you're full. Yeah. Mr. Fix says, nice work, Tanya. Thank you very much. I got to be a little bit bigger to get those in there. Or smaller. Or completely big, maybe. Nope. I've got them before. You have to be like a certain size. It's really weird and annoying. <laughs> but it's I'll be full to end the level anyway. Yeah. Another Christmas themed homebrew in the works today. Hack. Hmm. Oh, another hack. Nice. Very cool. Oh, this one's hard to avoid. Oh, oh. Oh. Just a little head. I should have mm -hmm. just gotten it. Hmm? What, uh, what's the new uh, hack. Christmas yeah. uh, hack called? Now are you going to include it in your new book? Mm. <laughs> Is there time or have you already uh, sent it in by now? Mm. That would be a very late edition. Oh, slippy. Mm -hmm. He is slippy. Oh, I wasted one at the bottom. I think you're okay though. This one's not too bad. Oh, now he's, he's getting small. I think you have to be at the top, yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's better. A tiny, tiny more. That's what Back you had up. to do too. Yeah. I think if you do it perfectly, you're okay. Yeah. That's easier. Easier said than done. Yep. Good job. Oh yes, let's get these. At least one of them. Yeah. But not two of them. Uh -huh. I think that's two. Uh -huh. Maybe we'll get two. Goodbye. Four. Good job. Yep. Ooh, flickery. <laughs> That's a short platform.
mess you up. Uh, I can't get it. <laughs> I'll do this. Nope. <laughs> Too big. Oh well. I think it's the height that you are, and it really affects. Yeah, you're screwed. There you go. I'll do the top ones first. I'm getting on the way a little tiny. <laughs> yeah. I like how we get smaller. I think that's a great part of the It game. is. Rather than health, it actually affects yeah. the look of your character. Yeah. So you don't have a health meter, you have a uh, <laughs> melty meter. Frosty height. I love Frosty height. And you know what? He has he has such great facial expressions. Like he you does. go, oh, 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 smile. Yeah, he has lots of different ones. Yeah, it's really great. Well, Daryl Spice Jr. is a master programmer. He is really and Nathan Strum. Nathan I mean Strum. he's he did the graphics, yeah. but so maybe more so on him, right? <laughs> Need to be a little bit smaller to uh -huh. get up there. But luckily, there's lots of ice up there. Uh -huh. How many, how many can I get before I need? They're only tiny ones. You notice they're different sizes. Yes, there's these guys are small, they take two. Ones. Yeah. Oh, will I be big? Yay! Yay! This one's challenging. Yep. I think you hit them all once. Hit oh them God. all once. Hit you. Like, I can't get up there. You no, know, you have to hit him once and then jump. I think that's the key. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, you have to oh. hit him once and jump. I, oh, you have to destroy that guy. Mm. That's the secret. You have to avoid. Yep. There you go. Oh, did you make it to this level? I died at this level. That's the problem with yeah. this level. It's not straightforward. Okay, okay. save that. Ooh, I should have gotten that one back. Yeah, you can still get it. Oh, uh, or you uh. just go. Your head's about to die. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Don't, no. don't die. Leave. What are you doing? Oh. You finished the level. <laughs> I forgot. You don't have to get it. Uh, no, hmm. get those guys first. Get those guys. They're coming for you. Oh, maybe you can. There you go. That doesn't look too bad. Oh, is there a foot at work? I don't know. Because hmm. he doesn't seem to be responding. <laughs> now we just did. <laughs> oh, this is... It's okay. It's just just differently spaced. Yeah, you do have to do it quickly now. Oh, I think I wasted one. No, you didn't, I think. moving platforms, really. Oh, he's in and out of work. Mm. I think I'll do these while I'm kind of small. Difficult. Challenging, especially when you go off the screen. Any yeah. platform, or when you go off the screen and you can't really see yourself mm. where you're landing, that's. Oh God. This one again? Oh! They don't move. Oh, I have to be small to get up you there. Have to, you have to get across. Oh my God. Just do it each level. I can't. You have to be small. I need a little bit more than that, but not too much to get into there. Destroy these dudes. Oh god, I need a little 
bit more. This is going to be very close. Oh, just. He was getting the frowny face. <laughs> he was very upset. Yeah, he was like, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. Yep. Oh. Get away. Yeah, he made it to the other platform. That's funny. Big ones. Oh, yeah. oh, not too bad. Not as bad as the last one. I like that he sweats too when he gets <laughs> gets upset. He gets littler. He, like melts. <gasps> Get it. Oh, Anybody know what level I'm on? <laughs> <laughs> Am I close to 32? Oh boy. How do you get over there? Oh, you use that upper platform. <gasps> Can't waste Up time point. anymore. No, the sun's coming out. Not too bad. A little bit left. Not much, though. Yeah. Yeah, these are the same levels, just a little are bit they? different. Yeah, things are moving, or the guys are a little. Oh, I wasted one. No, oh, you didn't. Did you? I did. Ugh. You weren't. You weren't at four. I don't think. No. Okay. Oh, you have to move with them. Terrible. Uh, kind of move with them. Kind of not. Depends where you are on it. Okay, the hard part's over. Good, good, good. You can't even just, like, you just can't waste barely. time. Oh, I wasted one. I'm gonna die for sure. You think? Yep. How do you even get the? It, it has to be at the bottom of it. You have to be small to get on there. You do. Come back here, little dude. This is a terrible level. Can you, Can you jump up? Top? No. You have to time it to get on that. You have to be melty. I know. There we go. I think I want one more. Yeah, I was gonna say you may want Well, that didn't help much. Okay. Oh, he, looks, he looks worried. I'm worried too. Oh, oh my god. Just in time. <sighs> <laughs> I guess Posta says he never went this far. He didn't? No. I'm, this He's is pretty far. Pretty far. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised I, I made it this far too. go this far. No, before. I mean, it's essentially a puzzle game, but you need good control at the same time, too. Yeah. So. Action puzzle. Action puzzle. Platformer puzzle. Platformer puzzle. Oh my god. That sun. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I need that. I need all of them. I need every single one of them. Two, three, four. Get them. <gasps> Whoa! You can't even wait, oh. can you? No. You can't. Just, you can't mess around at all. Ugh. You have to be, like, messing around with the balance of how tall you are at the same time, as well as not slowing down, because you're melting and... Going Very to tight. I don't know. There's two no, guys. No, don't left. get more. I would have just gotten that last guy because no. you're screwed. You should have gotten him when you when you had the opportunity. Yeah, just. I did waste a bunch of uh, ice at the beginning mm. at this level. Mm. Careful. 
Now you melt fast too, and that's the biggest challenge. Very fast. The sun is out. Like becomes a frantic game at this at this stage. It does. I think I'll do better this time. I didn't waste yeah. as much ice. You just you get them all. You get so much less from the ice too. Just... Go 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 go. Oh. Okay, good. Seems, but I think it's the race. I think race. It's, it's 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 the race. It's because of the timeline. Yeah. Oh, barely, barely. Oh, oh I wasted one. <laughs> <laughs> Everything counts now. Oh God. How do you get up there? Oh, you have oh, to be on that third. Oh, you have to third. wait so long. You have to be on that. You should have stayed on that. Platform. I know. You're screwed. Seriously. You're screwed. <gasps> No, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Just hit, you have to do it immediately. Uh. Nope, I think I got it. I think I got uh. it. Go, 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 Lil's no bad! God, why am I so small all of a sudden? Melt, melty city. Get that last guy at the bottom. No. Why not? That guy? Yeah. Sure. Value doesn't give you to wait. <sighs> Yay. That was good. <sighs> all over the place. Oh, now it's so far away. Hurry. <laughs> hurry. You're going to need more ice. Yeah. Oh, man. doing nothing for me. They're yeah, so tiny. Yeah, I know. They're so small. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. The ice is, like, doing nothing. <laughs> They're all huge seriously. guys too. Look, I'm a head, a tiny little head now. I know. No messing around on this level. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Look. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Waste. Waste. Have, get have to get the them top. as quickly as humanly possible. Yeah. Oh, that was it. Oh, it's true. Just resets. Good. That was very good. Oh, that I don't was know a what really level good one. That was a really good round. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't want to play anymore. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's stressful. That's such a stressful game. It's a good game. You think I made twenty levels? Oh, oh you made 20. quite a few. Late twenties, maybe. We have to go back through the footage and, and uh, count. Count them. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like fun. Oh, you're Doesn't so it? warm. You're oh, so warm. Oh, such a pliable cat. You've been sitting there for so long. Watching you play the Stay Frosties. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh, he's so tired. He's just falling asleep in my hands right now. Oh, cute little yeah. kitty. Oh, he is so tired. He 
sleeping. Always waking up a bit. Oh, Cosmic Arc Starfield at Night, a trick that uses a tiny command which makes a ball vomit all over the screen. <laughs> Blah. I yeah. guess he's talking about the night sky at the top. Oh, I see, I see, yes. I see. Thank you very much, Mr. Fix. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, oh. what yeah, did we play yeah. today? We played uh, Bellhopper. Yes. Awesome game. Really, really fun. It's one of those. Yeah. Maybe I'll do one of those, uh, like a compilation of those type games. Yeah. Where it's like a Bouncing. one button. Or scrolling, scrolling screens. Those simple jumping games. Vertical scrolling games. Wall Jump Ninja, Bellhopper. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Amoeba Jump. There's mm -hmm. a bunch like that where it's just like boing, 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 They're boing. They're so simple and, and and addictive because they the are. play is the gameplay is so sim is so easy. And it fast to reset. Yeah. And yeah. even at the beginning, <laughs> He's, uh, Mr. Fix says still hear those ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Even at the beginning of the game, the game's still fun. Yeah. The game is fun throughout. Yeah. 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 No, so that nice. I think, oh my God. But um, <laughs> Stay Frosty is so good too. Yeah. But different game. Naughty List. Good, good game. Um, hard. It's very hard. Yeah. Dropping those bombs precisely. I think the more you play it, the more you'll get used to the timing and the falling. Yeah. Um, but when you first start, you're like, oh my god, it looks like it should fall because <laughs> it drifts, but it doesn't drift as fast as, say, Santa does. Yeah. So I think the drifting feels a little bit wrong. Because without the drifting, but it would just go straight down. It would be, be too, too easy. easy. It would be too easy. The same drifting as Santa would be too easy as would well. Would be too easy. Because yeah, you'd be able true. to time it up all the time. You'd yeah. be like, Press here, it'll hit here. Press here, it'll hit here. Um, and obviously, Stay Frosty. It's a magnificent um, platformer. Oh, yeah. Really, really good. It gets but, hard. But stressful. <laughs> oh, it feels stressful. Yeah, at the beginning, you have tons yeah. of time just to, you know, hop around. But then yeah. the sun comes out and, and it you're, melts. You're just, you. like, melting so fast. Melts. Yeah. It's a good game, though. Yeah, so I think uh, between Bellhopper and Stay Frosty, those are the good, my picks, the picks of the night. Um, I enjoyed all they're three. Different, they're good in a different way. Yeah. I enjoyed all three. Bellhopper was probably the top, though. I really enjoyed Bellhopper. Every time a bell rings, you'll think of Bellhopper. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I it's suppose. True. Uh, That's true. Um, so, uh, thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm. And um, if there's any homebrew games that you'd like to see me play, especially some holiday games that you think would be cool to play in the next couple of shows next two shows because we're going to be doing a wednesday normal wednesday next mm -hmm. wednesday and then another wednesday we're skipping friday because it's too hectic around right now mm -hmm. and then we'll be back uh again for a friday with stay frosty two at okay. the end of the month so there's three more shows it's in uh december would be the 28th Yes, yeah. I think it's the 28th. Are we, we're not doing one that week on the Wednesday, because that no, would be cause that's, Nobody will watch, day? and we're busy, really busy. It would be Boxing Day. It would be Boxing Day. Yeah. It might be the 27th. No, I think, I, think it's, I think it's, it's Boxing Day. After day. Boxing Day. Yeah, because Monday is, is not a day off work, so I have to work Monday. Oh, you know it better. And then Christmas, and yep, then 28th. Boxing Day is, 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 the, is the Wednesday. So, so we'll be back on the 12th, the 9th, and then the 28th. 19th. 19th. Sorry, 12th, 19th, 19th and 28th. So Wednesday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah. So you can watch us then. Um, so yeah, if you have any suggestions for more holiday games, um, please let me know. Mm -hmm. uh, we've already covered Toy Shop Trouble on another fun. show. But it's good. We may do it again. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but that would be a one I would include if I can't find any other ones. Are there any, any New Year's games? Do such a thing... Exist? No. Does such a thing exist? It would be Fireworks. Counting down, you have to set off a number of fireworks before know. it hits midnight. <laughs> I don't know. You, there's not much to New Year's. No, that's or the, true. Or the ball is dropping, and you have to do something before the ball <laughs> drops in Times Square. Yeah. There's possibilities, but I don't think there are any New okay. Year's games. No. No. Maybe Y2K games. <laughs> Y2K. Before it hits midnight, yeah. and all the, and computers all the computers go crazy. Yeah. You have die. to fix, go around to the computers and fix the Y2K bugs. Mm-hmm. You know, like in uh, they could be old, old CRT TV, CRT TV, CRT screens, and yes. then you go and you have like to, an impossible like, mission. Exactly, impossible where mission press where you have on to the Y two K. Oh, see, someone needs to hack that and do yeah. that. Where you're running around and you just have fixing to fixing computers, fix all the computers. Yeah, 
Um, so you can uh, leave me a message on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all the things. Atari Age forums, this platform. <laughs> We're streaming on Twitch. Yes. Actually, don't. Don't mess with me on Twitch. It's so annoying. They have a terrible interface. Um, it's not like threads. You just answer a question, then it's done. It just pretty much kind of. Or? Yeah, you can't go to an inbox okay. per se. It's really weird. It's terrible mm. because it's meant for just quick answering questions, and it's done. Mm. Yeah, temporary. Kind temporary of. stuff, fleeting. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to because I want to prepare, have time to prepare for the um, 2018 Atari Awards, mm -hmm. and uh, then. Then we'll be presenting, and then we'll be casting it to a vote um, in the new year, maybe around the 15th of January, for everybody to put in their vote and vote for the best homebrew games of 2018. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do the presentation probably at the Yay. end of February, yeah. possibly. That's probably when okay. it'll happen. Cool. Fireworks at the end of Escape from Mastermind. Mm -hmm. so, Mind Mastermind. Mind Mastermind. Mastermind. <laughs> yeah. So there's kind of a New Year's. Mm -hmm. You could pretend it's New Year's, that it takes place at the same time. And I, I, I enjoy the umblot on the uh, escape. So yes, very go. nice. Um, yeah, I think that's it Yeah. for now. Okay. So it'll be me and Erlen uh, on uh, next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Or and maybe Atari. earlier, but he's figuring it out. And Atari. And Atari, if he, he behaves. Is. Oh, he's so sleepy. I know, he's so sleepy. Such a pliable... He's so tired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, so made thanks for hanging out, everyone. Yeah. I supposed to. Atari says goodnight. Mr. Fix, RC70, Arena Foot for dropping in at work. Mm -hmm. um, anybody else? No, it's pretty quiet. Well, Night. Lot, oh, lots of people lurking. Yeah, look at all those lurkers. <laughs> all the lurkers <laughs> that never type, but we like you doing it yeah. anyway. Yep. Yeah. Um, oh, the umlaut was a typo? Uh, <laughs> that's okay, we're good with that. Are you on your phone? Because sometimes if you hold down Oh, yeah, yeah, key, yeah, that's true, that's true. It'll give a little extra, yeah. um, extra letters in other languages. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, thanks for hanging out, and uh, have a good weekend, and we'll see you next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Bye, everyone. Bye. Atari says bye, too. Bye-bye. Yeah.